Hi, my name is Dan and I teach History of Art alongside Sarah. During your first year on the Art History course, you will study the theme of war with me. It is part of the course we will look in depth at a range of paintings, sculptures and buildings which have all been created in response to war and to global conflicts. You might be familiar with some of these works and you will certainly have heard of many of the events they relate to, possibly in your GCSE history or from news reports. Through examining a selection of works, you will see that war art isn't designed to always celebrate military victories, but many examples encourage us to respond emotionally to issues such as the deaths or destruction caused by warfare. When you study these works, you will examine their context. This might include looking at representations of military leaders who had very specific demands in terms of how they were portrayed versus the reality. You will also investigate the political and historical background to events shown on paintings and sculptures. It is always worth remembering that attitudes to many individuals and events depicted change over time and a the reputation of an individual from the past is often considered differently by today's standards. You will have seen this for yourself in the news over the past few weeks in terms of how we think about public monuments which commemorate people from history, you will consider and evaluate these changes in opinion. The works we've chosen to study for war show both sides of conflict, from the victorious to the defeated. It's quite easy for us to understand why a scene of heroism would be popular for an artist to focus on, but works relating to tragedy and loss can be more challenging but just as important. We will analyse the decisions made by artists when addressing this topic. Kathy Colwitz, for instance, was a German artist who worked in the first half of the 20th century. She created a memorial for her son Peter, who was only 18 when he was killed a few months into the First World War while serving in the German army. We will examine her decisions in choosing to focus on this tragic loss and understand why this work has now come to symbolise grief for all those affected by war. Other questions you will investigate might be why a painter such as Picasso decided to recreate a scene of destruction using only the tones of grey, black and white. All of these artists made deliberate decisions and this course is designed to help you interpret their aims. You will look at examples of art and architecture from across the globe, from Japan to India, China to Europe, and discover there are links between the works produced by varied cultures at different times in history. The range of works you will study date from the classical era right up to the present day, and we have an excellent set of learning materials in the department, including interviews with a leading British artist, which were produced by students from our very own art history department. Within the framework of the course, you will have the opportunity to study a number of works by a French painter, during the first half of the 1800s, and also a contemporary British artist who in 2016 used over 1400 actors to create a performance piece commemorating an event from World War I. It would be great to live in a world where armed conflict wasn't used as a solution to disputes. Unfortunately, this is unrealistic and war has been an inevitable part of life for people throughout history. We shouldn't shy away from the harsh realities of this subject, but instead look at the art which has been produced by men and women from different backgrounds as they try to give us a better understanding of this contentious subject. Thank you for listening. I look forward to seeing you in September.